What's going on, everyone? Welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Okigro, and welcome to the channel. If you're not already, please consider subscribing, turning on your bell notifications. And if you wouldn't mind dropping a like and or comment on this or any of my other videos, I would certainly appreciate it. We're back in the 4x4 sponsor tent today, and that sponsor is Spider Farmer. They provided us with all of this great gear to do this grow with. So if you're in the market for any Spider Farmer gear, don't forget about my discount code, which is OKGROW8, and that'll save you a little bit of money at checkout. And also, all the products you see in this video will be linked down in the description, along with my discount code. But enough about that, let's get into today's video. We're starting today's video pretty much right where we left off in the last upload. We're at the about end of week three here. So as far as the plants go, they're really happy, really healthy. Everything's looking really, really good at this point. The only thing I'm noticing is the bud development just isn't quite where I think it should be. I feel like the flowers should be a little bit bigger than what they are at this point, but maybe it's just in the genetics. I've never grown these before, so I can't really say. But it is the end of week three, and we got some work to do, so let's get these girls lollipopped. We're going to do this lollipop just like we do in all of the gardens here, and that is taking everything off all the way from the bottom, all the way up to the bottom of the trellis net, or at least right under it, maybe an inch or two in most cases. So I'm going to be real with you guys, I only lollipoped the front three and that's honestly just because getting to the back two would have required some contortion that my old body just can't do. Uh, this tent does have the doors on the sides of the tent which would be really really helpful if my canopy wasn't you know at the bottom of that door level. I would be able to use those and get in and lollipop the back two. But these plants are pretty short, canopy is really low. So it is what it is. I'm not really that concerned with it. And this will give me an opportunity to kind of see the difference in uh, the same genetics lollipopped versus not being lollipopped. See if that affects the overall flower potency, quality, or yield. Um, I've always just lollipopped everything in the garden. So this will be the first time I've kind of run a side-by-side -side of lollipopped versus non-lollipopped of the same genetics, at least anyway. But we got the front three done and they look really good. Seeing how it is the end of week three, it is also time for our mid-flower feeding. So we're going to be feeding uh, Gaia Green's Dry Amendments, the 284 Power Bloom, and we'll be feeding this at one tablespoon per gallon of medium. So we'll mix in five tablespoons into the topsoil here, and we'll just use our fingertips to kind of mix that into the top layer of soil, being extra careful not to go too deep and kind of disturb that root ball. It wouldn't be too terrible if we broke up some of the roots, but at this point in flower, we want to try our best to preserve that root ball and the health of the roots. Once we do that, it is time to get them all watered in. I try to save my feeding days, or at least get them to line up on the same day as a water, which is almost every other day at this point. But that way we can not only knock out two tasks at once, but also these dry amendments do need to be watered in and slowly watered in. So this watering system definitely helps with that. Let's fast forward about a week and see how the girls are doing. So here we are, uh, about the end of week four, and things are looking pretty good. The flowers have started to put on a little more mass, and the trichome development is definitely starting to kick into high gear here. These are going to be some frosty girls, I can already tell. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the two in the back are definitely looking a little hungrier than the three up front. And that might be something that has to do with the lollipopping that we did not do on those two. The front three seem to be staying nice and green, um, and the back two seem to be yellowing a little bit faster. I'm not going to just say that's because of the lollipopping, but it does look that way so far. These flowers are, like I said, getting really, really frosty. I'm excited about this. These will be my first square one genetics to have grown out, so I'm looking forward to it for sure. As you guys know, Spider Farmer has been a huge supporter of our channel for the last couple of years, sending us tons of great gear like these newly released clip-on fans. These are their new and improved model and they're working excellently. They've sent us lights, tents, humidifiers, you name it, they've sent it to us and we have been forever grateful. But they've also sent us a new product that they just released, so let's get it unboxed. 
Today we are unboxing the Spider Farmer Glow R80 Deep Red Spectrum 660NM Supplemental LED Grow Light. This is a Deep Red Spectrum Supplemental LED Grow Light and is crucial for enhancing photosynthesis in plants during flowering and fruiting, promoting robust growth with features like an IP65 waterproof transparent lampshade, digital programmable timer, and daisy chain design, multiple installation methods. Users can effortlessly connect and optimize installations for maximum yield of flowers. This is a two bar set, so 40 watts of each bar. You can daisy chain eight of these together on 110 volts or 16 of them together on 220 volts. This specific wavelength of red light has been proven to play a vital role during the flowering and fruiting phases, enhancing yield. The IP65 waterproof transparent lampshade and safely and effectively safeguards your LEDs and circuits from moisture. This feature ensures normal operation even in high humidity environments, prolonging the product's lifespan. Multiple installation methods including under, side, top lighting, however you want to use it, you can use it that way. Featuring a digital programmable timer allowing users to customize lighting schedules based on plant growth stages and specific requirements. This intelligent design contributes to maximizing plant productivity. I'm going to be using these as top lighting, so I will be hanging them directly onto the Spider Farmer SE5000 SA, that we have in the 4x4. So I'm going to finish getting these things unboxed. They were packaged really well, and we'll get into hanging them up. Now I'm just going to be using the provided zip ties to zip tie these to the light fixture itself. They were long enough to get all the way around the bar of the SE5000 and there is provided holes in the uh, deep red lights to zip tie to or add a ratchet strap, whatever you want to do. So it was a very, very simple installation. We're just going to get the wires connected now and the power ran out and then we will get these lights turned on. And just like that, we're done. This installation took me less than 10 minutes to do. It was super easy, super simple. And I just plugged these uh, lights right into my timer that is controlling my light. So they come on at the exact same time and go off at the exact same time. These are some pretty sleek little lights. They do not have an aluminum framing. They are a plastic framing, but they are very light. And like I said earlier, they're definitely waterproof. You can see just how bright red they really are, and with the uh, LED turned all the way up, you can't really see the spectrum of the red, so we're going to turn the light down and check it out. So these are this is just the red bars going, and as you can tell, it is a super deep red. The red, like I said in the description of these bar lights, is very important in the flowering phase. It promotes a big, healthy uh, yield. So. These are pretty cool. I've often thought about getting some of these and just never have. And so kudos to Spider Farmer for letting me try them out. They just released these. So if you haven't seen them before on their website or have looked for them and haven't seen them, they are now there. So you can get over to their website and uh, purchase you a couple and make sure you use that discount code OKIGROW8 and that'll save you a little bit of money at checkout. But that's pretty much going to do it for me this week, guys. We are caught up to where we are at. We are about the middle of week five of flower now, and things are going really, really good. Uh, hoping the bud development starts to go into overdrive pretty soon, and these buds really start to swell, because as of now, they are just really, really frosty. But that's going to do it for me this week, guys. I hope you all are having a fantastic week. I hope you're all smoking on something really, really nice. And like always, until next time, stay lifted.